AGI definition is same level of, as the human brain. That's a AGI, artificial general intelligence. But people have a different point of view definition of artificial super intelligence. How super? You know, 10 times super or 100 times super? My definition of ASI is 10,000 times super, smarter than human brain. That's my definition of ASI, and that's coming in 2035. 10 years, 10 years from today, 10,000 times smarter. That's my prediction. What, what is different in that? What will it do that we, that, that we should either look forward to or be worried about? Both, both. We should, we should be looking forward to that. Of course, we have to also be careful. We have to regulate. If such a superpower comes and no regulation, it could be super dangerous. Of course, automotive industry was very, very beneficial, productive to human, but we have a regulation. Same thing. No, 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 no I don't, I, 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 with respect, because we don't have anybody in the world who's willingly building or wanting to build automobiles that are dangerous. When it comes to AI, there may be state actors, there may be independent actors that want to build AI that can be harmful to other people. How can we guard against it? How do you guard against it? Of course, there is always a, some bad guy, you know, 1%, 2% of human are bad guys, okay? But 99% of human are actually good guys, okay? So the bad guy, of course, try to use AI for the bad intention. However, those bad guys not necessarily have enough capital. This is a massive capital. Our hundreds of billions of dollars of investment which required to make super intelligence. The bad guy, how do they sponsor? There is not enough money to sponsor the bad guys. If you take, for example, NVIDIA, the number of people who will say, oh, NVIDIA's in trouble, oh, NVIDIA's got from blah, 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 or oh, AI's, really all that's happened is that the market has overvalued too soon. That's a good question. That's a good question. Many people will still doubt. Okay, so I think NVIDIA is undervalued. What? Undervalued. On what basis? Because the future is much bigger. But the market's concentrating, as we heard in a panel earlier, it's quarterly reports. It's, oh, if, if NVIDIA tells us that it's going to be longer and slower, we all get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> NVIDIA is just one example. Right. Okay? What about the total, uh, you know, Gen AI future? What is the value of the future? Is this a bubble today or not? Okay. Some critics, the most negative guy says, oh, this AGI, ASI, in 10 years, maybe only 5% is actually useful or, you know, replacing right. people's job. But 95% is still the same, no change. It takes time. So I say, OK, let's accept the most negative critics' view. That is only 5% change, 95% unchanged. But what is that, you know, ASI investment required to take? Okay, 10,000 smarter than mankind. How many? How many gigawatts? We were talking about gigawatts just before me. Yeah. I have predicted it would take 400 gigawatts of AI data centers power. 400 gigawatts. That's bigger than total US electricity. And it will require 200 million chip. Okay? The cumulative capex, $9 trillion. $9 trillion. How do you recoup? How do you recoup? It's too much investment for many people's view. I say, right. I say it's 
still very reasonable capex. Nine trillion dollar is not too big. Maybe too small. <laughs> you like to think big. Yeah, yeah. So let me say, what is nine trillion dollar cumulative? But if the five percent of GDP in 10 years from today replaced by ASI, what is the number? Right. Five percent of G global GDP is nine trillion dollars. Nine trillion dollar per year. The, if the ASI produce you nine trillion dollar per year, cumulative investment of nine trillion dollar, small money.